In today's session, I am going to show you how to send a drip campaign. We are going to send a drip campaign using Zo CRM and from Zo campaigns. I will show you both options. Before we start, I want you to forgive me because I am working from a resort, not from my office. I'm on vacation right now. So the, the technology, the audio and the video quality will not be as you used to. So I'm sorry about it, but still, please concentrate on the content. That's what's important. We are going to begin with Zo CRM. So first of all, the first step will be to create a set of email templates. And the email templates can be created using a setup, and then you go to templates, and then you will create a set of email templates. Let's assume that the, the drip campaign that I am going to, to create here will have three emails that will create trust and the fourth email will be my sales pitch, okay? So, I'm going to start with an email template for a new lead, okay? I will select the module as a lead, and then I will click on next. I will create a blank new template because I don't want to go with all the beautiful non-converting templates, so I will go with a blank. And let's have here a name, we'll call it drip, one, the template subject will be the email subject. So that will be, you know, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And here it will be, there will be some message. Okay. So that will be drip number one. Let me just save it somewhere. We'll put it here. Good. So I have my drip one. I am going to duplicate it to four different drips. So I will have four different uh, templates. Now just remember that each one of those templates will be a different email template that you are going to produce. At this example, I am not going to create real emails. We're just going to create those templates so I can show you how to create the drip campaign but just know that eventually on your side, you will have about uh, multiple, it can be four, five, 1,000 email templates, and those email templates will be used for your drip campaign. Now, one thing that is very important to understand, whenever you create a drip campaign, you're supposed to have a storyline behind it. Let's assume that I'm going to sell a $1,000 package. And as you understand, no one will just pay 1000 without building some trust or understanding more about the product. So in this case, I will probably start sending emails about the product, about the opportunity, about the package, much before I will start selling it. I will not send you a button that says, pay me thousand bucks and get the package. The answer will be no, of course not. But if I will produce some good emails that will show you more about the product, more people that are using my products, what benefits can you get from my products, the awards that my product won, the life that my product changed, whatever it is, then you will build some trust and then I will give you the sales pitch. It's a thousand bucks, but just today it will be seven ninety nine, whatever it is. So that's really the idea of what we're trying to build here. So let's assume that in the example that we are going to have today, let's assume that we got a new lead that is interested in the specific product. And from the moment that he landed on our website, I want to send him the drip campaign. Every two days, I will send him additional email with relevant information about my product. And the fourth email will be the sales pitch. So in order to do that, I will go to my setup and then I will go to my workflow rules on the right side. 
and then I am going to create another automation. Create rule, we'll call it, we'll call it drip campaign one. And we want this uh, drip campaign to be sent whenever a lead is landed on our system, which is a new lead. In this case, I will just click on, on record action and I click on create. And you have your two options. One, that every lead that comes to your system will get those, those uh, drip campaigns. Or you want a specific product or specific person to get this specific drip. For example, you can say that if the gender, for example, is female, then they will get this specific a drip campaign because the templates will be more pinkish, more for women, while another campaign would be for men. And now you just raised your conversions uh, much higher than what it should be. In this example, we are going to make it for all leads and we are going to the scheduled actions. The first email will be sent one hour after the lead was created and I will select your email notification. I will create a new template for it, which is Dream one I will select the person which is my lead. And I will select the template, which is Drip1, which we already created. Now, the person that is going to send the template will be the record owner email, which means the person that is going to be in contact with the lead. I want to build trust between my salesperson and my client. And now I am associating it. Now I will click on add scheduled action. I will make the next one after two days. And I am going to create an email notification. And that will be drip2. I am going to assign the lead email to this template and I am going to select drip2 and record owner's email. And the next one will be four days after the lead was created. And I will create here another drip. This is drip3. The reception will be the lead email. That will be drip number three and I am going to have the record owner email to send this email, okay? And the last one will be after six days. One second. After six days, email notification. That will be drip four, the email, and we're going to have the template that we created in advance and it going, it's going to be sent from the record email. So as you can see here, we created a drip campaign in about three minutes. And the drip campaign says that whenever a new lead is being created on my system, I am going to send him four different email templates that will build trust and eventually will make the sale. Okay, so this is how easy it is to make it with Zoho CRM. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages of using Zoho CRM. With Zoho CRM, the drip campaign is extremely fast. So that's very cool, right? We, we don't like to work too much because we are lazy and this is how it's supposed to be. From the other side, there is no, no reporting involved in, in Zoho CRM. Right now, at where we are with Zoho CRM at the end of 2019, there is very poor reporting regarding Zoho CRM email templates. So if you are looking for some reporting and, and understanding what, what's going on with your, your emails, probably you don't want to use Zoho CRM. If you don't care and you just want to send your emails, so Zoho CRM probably will be a good solution for you. Another disadvantage of Zoho CRM, it is limited in the amount of emails you can send per day. 
as far as I remember it's about 1000 emails per day next we are going to uh, let me just cancel this drip perfect okay so next we are going to check how to do it with Zo campaigns so I will go back to my Zo one I will click on Zo campaigns and just a small side note for Zo campaigns lately I saw too many clients that are coming to me as new clients and their Zo campaigns is not configured to send emails so they're sending emails on a regular basis and those emails are being bounced because as you can see here if you click on settings and then you click on domain authentication you will see that they have access on the SPF and DKIM which means those emails are bounced whenever they are being sent out of ZO campaigns which is very poor because they spend lots of money and time creating those emails while those are bouncing and no one sees them very sad so go to your setup just make sure that you configured your SPF or DKIM if you need any help with it I will be happy to help you or you can ask your system administrator it's very very simple to do by the way it's, uh, it's like a 30 minutes work and if you would do it also do it on, on your CRM on ZO1 there are a few places that, 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 that you should do it you see here you're supposed to have authentication uh, with a checkbox mine is not because this is a testing system but you're supposed to have a checkbox also on CRM otherwise your CRM emails are also bouncing which is sad okay so let's go back to the ZO campaigns in order to send a, a, a drip campaign on ZO campaigns it's a bit more complicated we are going here to automation we are going with autoresponders and from all the autoresponders that we can create the one that makes the most sense would be probably smart serious but it's not it's the sign up when you click on the sign up you are you will give it a name so let's say test one will be my drip campaign you will select a list in this case I will select mailing list two but that can be any type of mailing list that you like to select and now I will create a message so that will be message one and you will need to provide here a subject for your email and you will click next and let's create a pre-designed template um, I don't want you to use the pre-designed templates it's shit but I want to make it a fast process so I am going to select a template but in your case please don't use those templates it's horrible please okay so now the template comes in I will click on save and next which means I already created the, this email and it looks great and now I will click on next and I will click on uh, next okay and now I will send my first message for review I just sent my first message for ZO review ZO will review it in a few seconds and once it's approved I will be able to set the time when I want my drip campaign to be sent next I'm going to create another follow-up message which will be exactly the same process so that will be message number two we'll do exactly exactly the same thing I will create here another garbage email okay use the template that's fine okay save and next okay the email looks great I will click on another time on next and I will click on next and now I will need to click here send for review so that was my second message 
So right now I have two messages that I sent for Zoho review. I am not going to create four of them because all of them will be exactly the same. Every time that you want to create another message, you will need to click on create follow up message and then it will be added to your drip campaign. Now, another thing while we are waiting for Zoho to approve my uh, garbage messages, it's important to understand that whenever you create the drip campaigns, and the campaign is ready, don't edit the campaign. Because every time that you edit the campaign, something will happen. And it's not things that will be in your favor. Usually the campaign will stop working or people will get the wrong messages. If you have a drip campaign, make it work. And whenever you finished using it, just pause it. That's it. Don't, don't make changes to the drip campaign, okay? I never saw a drip campaign that was changed while it was working and the results were good, okay? There are never good results about it. Okay, so as you can see here, Zo approved my, my message and now I have another small button, send, sending time. And if, when I will set the sending time, I can have it immediately, which means right now, or I can delay it in a few hours, few days, few months. In this case, I wanted the, the, the campaign, the first message of the campaign to be sent one hour after creation. So that's one. Now I will refresh the page. Maybe Zoe already approved my garbage message, the second one. Yes, it's garbage. Let's continue. And it's approved. Thank you, Zo, for approving my garbage message. Okay, so now I need to set up the, the sending time. I will click on set. I will create a delay and I will make it two days. Okay, now if you want, you can also set a specific time. Usually you want your, your clients to get the emails before lunch or in, in times that you know that they are more likely to open the mailbox. For example, let's have it here, 11, 40, okay, 30, that's fine. And that will be Eastern time, which is good enough for me. And now whenever you're ready, you click on activate, and once you click on activate, bang, it works. That was drip campaign in about 20 minutes, how to do it on Zo CRM and how to do it on Zo campaigns. I hope I was able to provide you some value. I'm sorry about the video and audio quality. It is what it is. I'm on vacation without my equipment. If you like the video, I will appreciate thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, shoot them in the comments below and I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next session.